Hi children, today let's look at months of a year. How many months are they, each month, how many days are they and go on. Then after we finish that, we will do an exercise which you will enjoy. So first let's learn the months of a year, number of days for each month. Then we will go into an exercise to find out if you remember what we learned. Good. So let's look at months of a year. Now, when you say months of the year, how many months are there in one year? Look at the number. There are 12 months. Each month is the name of a, each name is the name of a month. So, it has to be in capital letter. You must be excited. You are supposing you are born in the month of August and you will be excited when the month comes along. So, the name of the month has to be written, first letter should be in capital because it is the name of a month of the year. Yes? Now, you must learn the spellings too. It is very easy to learn because you have this calendar both at home and at school, sight learning. Yes? One look at you must say this is January. Good. Let us look at all the months now. Let us read together. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. So, these are the 12 months of a year. Now, each month has different number of days. If you look at the calendar, some will have 31, 30, 31, 30, it goes on. So, we need to know which month has how many days. Now, first month of the year is January. Can you spell January? J-A-N-U-A-R-Y, January. The month of January, that is the first month of the year and it has how many days? Good! 31 days. The first month is January and it has the number of days are 31. Good! The second one is February. Spell February. F-E-B-R-U-A-R-Y. February. Normally, this February supposed to be the shortest month. It comes and goes fast and the number of days are 28. The month of February has 28 days only. Now, every four here, let us say the year 2000. Now, 2000, if you divide by four, there will be no remaining, huh? it has to be, you can divide by 4, then we will say, oh, this is a leap year. Now, 2004, again 2008, 2012, every 4 years, the year should be divisible by 4. Then we will say, this is a leap year, every 4 years, you get one day extra for February and so that particular year you will have 29 days for the month of February. So, 2004 will have 29 days, 2008 will have 29 days, 2012 will have 29 days, the other day, other months, the other years you get only 28. So, every four years, when it's called a leap year, February will get 29 days, one day extra. Look out. So, if you have a birthday on 29th of February, probably it will only come once in four years. Yes? Good. Next month is March. Spell March. M-A-R-C-H. March. How many days are there in the month of March? Good, 31. The month of March has 30 
one day. Next, April. You like April? That's the month when you write exam. Promotion. Spell April. A P R I L. April. The month of April has 30 days. How many days? 30 days. The number of days for April is 30. And you are so excited because the holiday begins in the month of April. Next is May, your holiday month. Spelled May. M A Y May. And May, how many days the month of May has? It has 31 days. How many days? 31 days. And you're very happy in the month of June, in the month of May to go for a holiday. June, the school reopens for you. Spell June, J U N E, June. The month of June, the number of days in June is 30 days. June has 30 days. Next, we have July. Spell July. J-O-L-Y. July. You're already in school and you're happy with your friend. The month of July has how many days, children? Look at your calendar and tell. 31 days. Very good. Next, you have August. August. All independent day, all celebrations. Spell August, A-U-G-U-S-T, August. And August has how many days, children? Code, 31 days. So we have August, 31 days. Next, we have September. Your exams come along. And you look forward to more holidays. Spell September, S-E-P-T-E-M-B-E-R, September. How many days in September? 30 days. September has 30 days. Good. Next we go on to school reopens again in October. Spell October. O-C-T-O-B-E-R. October. And October has how many days, children? Good. October has 31 days. Next we go into November. October, November. Come, we are happy. Diwali comes along. Good. Spell November. N O V E M B E R. November. You love November. Yes? Good. How many days are there in November? 30 days. And that's the time of celebrations. Good. Next, the last month of the year, that is December, your exam comes along. December is the time for Christmas. All colorful lights all around. Spell December. D E C E M B E R. December. How many days are there in December? 31. December has 31. Look carefully now. January 31. February 28. Every four years 29. March 31. April 30. May 31. June 30. July 31, August 31, September 30, October 31, November 30 and December 31 days. So, you have learned now the number of days for every month of the year. Did you enjoy children? Good. Look now. Look at the days of the year, names of the Months of the year, we have 1 to 12 here and there is a question for you to answer. We have the months in a year, January right up to December, all the 12 months. Let us read the question together. Which is the third month of the year? Which is the third month of the year? Which is the first month? January, February. Third month of the year is? March. So your answer is March is the third month of the year. Yes? Good. So looking at the calendar, you'll be able to say, which is the third month of the year? March is the third month of the year. Let's take another question. Good. Which is the last month of the year? The first month is January. The last month is 
12th month that is december spell december d e c e m b e r so your answer is december the last month of the year is december did you enjoy shall we take another question yes which is the first month of a year the first month of a year is january number 1 first month what do you think of january when it comes january come pongal very good so the first month of the of a year is january spell j a n u a r y january did you enjoy let's go on with another new question look which month comes after october it's october here september october school reopen after october which month comes after october november comes after october october november after october comes november spell november n o v e m b e r november third let's take another question which month comes before december which is the last month of the year december is the last month of the year and which is the month that comes before december november which month comes before december the month of november comes before december spell november n o v e m b e r november third let's take another question which month comes between may and july let's go through the month january february march april may here is may then you have june july they are asking us between may and july which month comes in between may and july may july june the month of june comes between may and july june spell june j u n e june did you enjoy the exercise let's take another question which is the 10th month of the year 10th month january 1st 2nd 3rd 4th 5th 6th 7th 8th 9th 10th 10th month of the year is october october is the 10th month of the year spell october o c t o b e r october let's take another question which month comes before october before october october is the 10th month the month that is before october is september how do you spell september s e p t e m b e r september september come before october did you enjoy children let's look at another question which month comes after january the month that follows after january is february spell february f e b r u a r y february cut let's take another question which month comes before april the month before april january february march april the month before april is march examination time spell march m a r c h march third shall we take another question look which is the seventh month of the year first january second third fourth fifth sec the seventh month of the year is july july is the seventh month 
of a year spell july j u l y july